I'm Steve Shule, the mayor of Durham, and I'm here today with a message of gratitude. For the past nine months, we've been experiencing an unprecedented crisis with COVID-19, something we never could have imagined would have happened in our lifetime. But we're getting through it together, and today I'm here to talk about some of the people who have helped us get through it, some of the real Durham stars in our work to fight against the pandemic. Many of us have had, have had the uh, opportunity to express our gratitude to the frontline medical workers who truly rendered and continue to render extraordinary service in our hospitals and in our congregate care facilities. But there are so many other pandemic fighters here in Durham, and I want you to know some of their names. So first, I want to call out the Durham County Public Health Director, Rod, Drink Rod Jenkins. Imagine this, Rod came to Durham in his new job as our health director in January. And two months later, he was thrown into fighting a global pandemic in a new city with a new staff and new overwhelming pandemic responsibilities. Rod organized Durham's contact tracing. He fought for resources from the state. He stepped up the health department's communication about the virus. A tireless and generous leader, Rod has done everything in his power to keep us safe. I also want to shout out Dr. Ibukan Akinboyo, a brilliant young Duke epidemiologist who has kept Durham's policymakers, business leaders, and faith leaders informed about the science of the pandemic and the ways to fight it as this science has evolved. Dr. Akinboyo's brain power and her calm, caring voice have been critical to our public health decisions. I also want to recognize another group of stars, the team who came together to give us Durham's Back on the Bull campaign which is designed to help our businesses keep their customers and employees safe and to let the customers know which business they can trust for safe practices. You've seen the great back on the bull signs on the doors of hundreds of businesses around town certifying their safe practices. And maybe you've been to the website backonthebull.com. Well, all of that was designed for free by the good folks at McKinney. And I want to recognize and thank Brad Brenniger, Gretchen Walsh, Walt Barron and Mel Melanie Wallace for making that happen. I want to recognize as well, Marielle Beasley, Mike Gerson and Judson Bonick at Duke Center for Advanced Hindsight for contributing their behavioral economic insights to the development of the campaign. And a huge thanks to the folks at Discover Durham, Susan Amy, Margaret Pentrack and Cara Russo who are bringing the campaign to the public. My final shout out today is to our community health ambassadors funded by the city and county, managed by the Gilling School of Public Health at UNC. These ambassadors are hired from Durham neighborhoods to visit our local businesses and coach them on safe practices, take them through the back on the bull checklist and get them certified as safe businesses. Half of our ambassadors are Spanish speaking, which is a wonderful asset. To date, they have coached upwards of 700 small businesses in Durham to be COVID safe. Thanks to Dr. Kurt Ribisel and Sarah Vandergrift at the Gilling School. Thanks to Yesenia Marino, Marilyn Pulido, and all of our health ambassadors, Maria Eugenia Saavedra, Rafael Chelios Flores, Jen Buxton, Tiffany Richburg Holloway, Luis Morales, Ubina Ejimofor, Zenora Sailua, and Jenny Palmer. These folks are COVID heroes. They're going door to door, business to business to try to keep all of us safe. And that's why I want you to know their names. There's so many people in Durham working to keep us safe and to bring us through the pandemic. And I'll be back next week to tell you more of their names and the good work that they're doing. So in the meantime, wear your mask, socially distance, wash your hands. We are going to get through this winter together and there's a vaccine waiting on the other side.